um, what happened or what we know happened. Uh, Joe, what's the latest? Yes, yeah, so we're going on almost six hours now with breaks, but almost six hours that James Biden, the brother of the president, has been answering these questions behind closed doors from a handful of lawmakers, mostly Republicans on House Oversight and Judiciary, also Jamie Raskin, one Democrat in there uh, asking questions as well. We know that James Biden has basically said during his, his answers that there has been a firewall between his business dealings and his brother's political career, not just now as he's president or when he was vice president, but going all the way back to when he was a first-term senator. He says this is the case, saying here, quote, I've had a 50-year career in a variety of business ventures. Joe Biden has never had any involvement or any direct or indirect financial interests in those activities, none. And we did also hear Jamie Raskin come down here, answer some questions, and basically echo that, saying there's no there, there, nothing that implicates Joe Biden himself. Uh, still, this investigation, this inquiry is going to move forward. We uh, heard from Jim Jordan earlier, who maintained that. He says uh, there are still a number of areas that they can investigate beyond just the one informant that ended up being uh, indicted for lying to authorities. Here's a bit more of what Jordan said. Joe Biden goes, leverages, conditions the release of our tax money uh, on the firing of that prosecutor who's applying the pressure to the company his son sets on the board of uh, and makes a million dollars a year. So but, but that, that, those the... facts don't change. Yeah, so whether the credibility of that inquiry has taken a hit on that or not, it is, like I said, going to continue. Hunter Biden is going to be here next week, and there's going to be a full deposition for him answering questions likely from the same group or close to it that James Biden is answering from today. So on this informant, as you said, that's the, really the big, been the big headline in all of this this week. This guy Smirnoff, who the FBI had as an informant, was charged, as you said, with lying uh, to the FBI. But it sounds like, from Jordan and others, that the, the Republicans... You know, cases are we're still we're still going here, right? What, are they, what does it have any impact? Yeah, there may be a public perception impact here, and if you talk to some lawmakers, even on the Republican side of the aisle privately, you've heard from many who uh, have said yes that that does sort of damper the inquiry. But again, the people who are running this inquiry on the Republican side of the aisle, they maintain there are still a number of other elements that the entire case they've been building against a former, excuse me, against President Biden is not uh, entirely uh, relying on just that one informant. So they say they're going to continue moving forward with it. And again, uh, you know, we are going to have Hunter Biden come answer questions uh, under oath next week. So this will certainly continue, at least in the short term. That's what we expect to see, Connor. All right, Joe. Thank you, uh, Joe Khalil, on all of that. Let's bring Terry Holt in now. Terry's a Republican strategist, former senior advisor to uh, John Boehner when he was speaker. It's always good to see you. I mean, I know 